Kind of running out of room here. Got okay. Some, got some boxes. Hey, what would you like for supper tonight? We've got some <laughs> X-Men archives on tap here. Uh -huh. uh, would you like a little Uncanny X-Men with your eggs? Hey guys, hope you're having a marvelous day. Spidey Joe 9 here. I'm with That's Cat, my boy Brett. And I, we're doing something pretty cool today. Uh, I know you hear me say that a lot, but that really is how my life goes. Uh, it, you guys only get a portion of what, what really happens. But So I gotta tell you a quick story so you understand what we're doing. And we're, we're on some Louisiana roads, so it's, it's kind of bumpy. You remember Ace Venture? Great <laughs> Turns out he's on a smooth road. That's not what's happening. We're really on a bumpy road. But anyways, um, a couple of weeks ago, I'm in downtown West Monroe, Louisiana in a section of town called Antique Alley. And I go into one of these old shops, stores, and there's a section uh, for, for trading cards, mainly baseball. And a couple of young guys there, I knew one of them, and we started talking. Obviously, I steer the conversation towards Marvel cards. They didn't know anything about it. And we have a really cool conversation. Fast forward a week later, they're in Shreveport, Louisiana, which is about an hour and a half away from where I live. And I get a phone call, and he's like, hey, there's a, there's a booth here with a ton of Marvel cards. And not only is there a ton of Marvel cards, it's like really special stuff, okay? And I'll drop a photo in right here so you can see it. And it's like high level top Wolverine cards with minty, minty, minty grades. And I'm like, you gotta find the owner of these cards and I've gotta talk to them. Because I didn't know who owns these cards. And I've gotten to where I know just about everybody that has really special stuff. Obviously there's some some hidden collectors out there who don't want to don't want to be visible. But this guy's at a card show, so I find that fascinating. So he wasn't there. About an hour later they call me, I get on FaceTime with this guy named Michael. And Michael is who my buddy Norn Rad, I believe, has been talking about as this massive hidden top Wolverine collector. You know, someone who is doing it at a level that very few are doing it in a curative way that very few are doing it. Because he's got really, really special cards with really high grades. And he only exists in two places visibly outside of the trading card show. And that's on eBay and Flickr. Yeah, I'm like you, what's Flickr? Well, apparently it's a place where you can upload your photos for people to be able to see them. And maybe there's other stuff that you do, but that's about it. It's kind of like, a old person's Instagram account maybe I don't know well anyways he's on Flickr and he's on eBay well he and I speak and I'm thinking he lives in Dallas Texas and that he came over to Shreveport for the card show but that is not true he actually lives right here in Louisiana right here in Shreveport an hour and a half away from me so there's two preeminent character collectors in the state of Louisiana really close to one another me being Spidey him being Wolverine and we don't know each other. To top that off, oddly enough, he was wearing one of the hoodies that I own and he works in real estate, which is what I do for a living. So I'm like, how do we not know each other? We should be like two magnetic forces pulling each other together, which I think is what's happening here. So I may be on the way to meet one of my new best Marvel card friends and I'm gonna see his collection and we're gonna hang out and have a good time. And hopefully he'll let me record some of that so I can share it with you. And I'm hoping to get him to do an interview with me so I can tell or share his Marvel card story with you guys. And uh, yeah, so you just have to keep watching to find out. Oh, welcome. Hey, sorry, come on in. <laughs> Good. Yeah. What's up, Michael? Hey, buddy. Justin. Good to meet you, man. Yeah. And, and Brett's behind the camera. Good to meet you, man. This yeah. is awesome. Thanks for coming, guys. It is so hard to believe that we have another Marvel car collector in Louisiana at your yeah. level. It's fun, huh? Wow, is this your setup? It is. 
That's where I open boxes and put up some of my favorite cars. Okay, yeah. you're gonna have to show me around. Let me, yeah. you mind if I sit these down here? No, not at all. Is this where you grade? Yeah, grade and, and open boxes and hang out with friends. And... Do you have like pack rip nights? Oh yeah, all the time. And you don't do it on camera? No, that's what they say. My friends are like, you gotta do this on camera. Well, you have to, in my opinion, because a lot of these cards, as you know, are really hard to get. Yeah. And so you're ripping these in private. There are a lot of people who won't ever have the opportunity to see these open. I gotcha. And I would so, love to start doing it on camera. I really would. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna develop a ripping relationship. Okay, cool. Because we yeah. we've coined the phrase ABR. Okay. Always be ripping. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Okay, okay. Um okay, this caught my attention as soon as I walked in. Tell me about these cases here. Um, found them off of um, eBay. I don't remember the brand or anything, but I just like the dimensions and everything and the way it displays it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, you, is this specifically for BGS? No, PSA 2. Now, you have a lot of BGS slabs. Do you just have, is it the proximity to Dallas that creates? No, PC is BGS by far. Okay. I'm not trying to knock PSA, but I don't like the holder, I don't like the way it looks. Yeah. But you know, I know they're a great company, but I personally, I just like Beckett more. So. Hey. And they tell you what the problems are, right? Yeah. They, right. You know what the deal is. <laughs> you, like, so, you like the transfer. Yeah, yeah. Now, so. uh, BGS is, is great. I yeah. love it. And then, so mainly, you got some more in here. Look at that. Oh, double impact at 9.5. Yeah, on the other side, yeah. Starting to get into spawn too. Oh, so is, wait. It's a pop one, and clear chrome insert of spawn. Yeah, but is is that from a pack or is that wizard? Mm, good question, I think pack. Yeah, Because universe. how did yeah. you, what set? It was pack pooled uh, from Image fine. Universe. Yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah. this is why it's a, it's a so most spawn cards from the 90s are the longer. Right, um, the jumbo. The jumbo, yeah. this is a, a two by three. So I need to look into these because I love spawns. Yeah. Tom McFarlane. I love spawn stuff, man. You a top fan? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it's, that's really cool. You were, you were sharing with me earlier that this as a PSA 10 sold for what? 5,500 in the last month, month and a half. That seems just a, little, a base card. It right? feels off. It feels too high. It, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, to me personally, I, that that feels like someone who maybe thought this was a PMG because it had metal right? on it. I know, right? Who knows? And overpaid. Yeah. Uh, but I, but I love this card. Yeah. I'm gonna show you in my collection in a minute why I love it. Okay, good. And, all right, and all right. So, uh, Deadpool. Fl I love the flashers. Oh yeah. The, the '95 metal is is a, a favorite from my childhood. I love it too. I got yeah. You got more. Yeah. You got more to show. Yeah. He's got more to show, guys. <laughs> Joe Juice Ghost Spider Man here. Love those. Yeah. Golden Web. That's fantastic. Can you get in here to the car flipper? Mm -hmm. And we've got Wolverine. Is that a, no? That's thirty years. That's yeah. not twin gold. Yeah. Foil stamp and anniversary insert. I'm sure you have the twin, yes. Mm -hmm. And that is the Pepsi uh, Mexico version. Jim so okay, for people who don't know, you have the you have the Fleer. Right mm -hmm. or flare, 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 which uh, I mean, which is a, a, a highly produced card, right? It was one of our favorites, right? For sure. But then yeah. there's the Pepsi, the Mexico Pepsi. More Tell us rare. about that. Well, the boxes I think are one to three thousand, and they were released in in Mexico, and they're just uh, they weren't produced as many as the regular flare ones. I don't know how many were produced, but they're more rare. So the more rare, yeah. so it says Pepsi on the back, another language on the back. So. So you know by the language in the Pepsi logo, yeah, right? Yeah. And you have it at a 9.5. Yeah. Goodness gracious. The ultimate goal is to get almost all these in full sets in 9.5 and then to put them up on eBay for millions of dollars. That's the ultimate goal. Okay. <laughs> so wait I'm a trying minute. to build sets here in 9.5. Okay, so wait a minute. We've got we got a bat we got Batman cards in here. Mm -hmm. Love Batman. Okay, we'll allow it. You know what we say DC stands for, right? Oh no. Don't care. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm kidding. No. I'm kidding. I like Marvel Batman. better, but Batman's my exception. You yeah. Know? I love Batman. Uh, <laughs> that's that's true, I think, yeah. for many of us. Yeah. I actually have a whole Batman set. Do you? And uh, I want to do, we need to do it together. What? Because I bet you know Batman better than I do, especially from a trading card standpoint. But I want to talk about if there are cars that you that if you want to collect Batman at a mm -hmm. high level, what should you be doing? Sure. And I and definitely then, know what to talk about with that. I'll okay, stuff we're like gonna that. do that. All right, we're gonna yeah. do that video. You have to keep you have to keep an eye on that. Me and Michael are gonna make yeah. a DC Batman trading card video. That'll be fun. I love this Spider-Man here, yeah. Heidelbrandt. Yeah. 
and at a nine point, so almost all of this is a 9.5. Mm -hmm. Like this is a 9.5 case except with two exceptions? Yeah, because no 9.5s or 10s exist with that card. It's so condition sensitive because of the foil front and back. So, so one day there will be. Yeah, so this is a master class. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Ma not class. Series. Uh, DC master series. Master yep. series. Yep. So it's like the Marvel masterpieces of the 90s for DC. Right. Is that how you would say it? Right, and both sides are foil. Oh wow! Another reason, really like back at a little bit more than PSAs, you got the tin pristine. Right, <laughs> well, that's a whole other level, right? It so, is. Yeah. But is that the black label? Got one black label. All right, we're gonna get to it. Okay, okay. okay guys, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to watch this whole video. It's gonna be a little bit long. Come look at this card here. I want you to tell people about this one. So, I've been collecting for 20 years, and I've never actually seen this card before, besides on eBay one time, and uh, it, I bought a pack. And that was not pack pulled, but I did buy a pack of those for four or five hundred bucks. That card, I think I paid five hundred for. And, wow! Uh, How and long ago? Um, about a year ago. Oh, this is before yeah. even the crazy. Uh, yeah, and it was released in Japan, so pretty rare prism. Wow. Okay. All right. So this case is. I don't even know what to talk it's about. My favorite first. case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're just gonna start at the top, and we're gonna work our way this way because we're gonna start with Spidey. Why not? Yeah. Uh, so again, we're just looking at nine five Spidey. This is a base card, or is there anything base special? Card. Okay. Yeah. And then we have the parallel here. Three versions of the Iron Man, the silver, the gold, and the bronze. So, is a bronze? Super rare. It's, I think the bronze is probably worth four or five grand. It's just the rarest one. I think out of the Walmart boxes, you can only get it out of those boxes. Wow. So, wow, wow. Bronze. So you not only have a bronze, you have a bronze 9.5. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then you have the Venom 9.5. Mm -hmm. But where's the Spidey 9.5 bronze? Working on it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Working on it. <laughs> All right. And then we have just the, the regular foil here. Mm -hmm. And then this is what? How would Gold you describe web, it? Uh, Venom. I think that's a pop two. It's super hard to grade. The black edges. 9.5. Mm -hmm. Now, when you talk about pops, do you combine the PSA and BGS? Or I'm just, just thinking BGS. Just yeah. BGS. Usually it's, it's similar to PSA. Yeah. Yeah, usually. So. Just curious. Yeah. All right, Anthony, Anthony Tan, Tan. One of my favorite artists. Yeah. Anthony Tan. And Gleave and, and Nar. You and know. Nar. Yeah. All right, if you have a Nar, I'm going to throw up. I wish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, 9.5 9 on a sketch. Yeah. Now, they're easier grading on sketches. You know how really? sketches stain to the back? Yeah. They don't even take off for the staining, bleed through. They count that as part of the card. So, okay. they actually grade easier than people think. Is that just at BGS or does PSA have the Good same? Good question. I, I don't even think PSA will grade a lot of sketches. I've sent some sketches off and they won't even grade them. Won't Official even license cards, they won't grade them. So, I don't know. But I know Beckett will. So. That's awesome. Well, you know, I've heard friends say don't grade sketches, but I'm actually digging this. I had a lot of pristine tins and sketches too. It would blow your mind. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. It authenticates them to yeah. some degree if they know what they're looking at. Sure. All right, tell us about this one. Pristine Tin Wolverine does great easy though, so because <laughs> they're a plastic card. Right. And I'm um, going for a black label on that. I'm going to keep searching for those and keep submitting to that until I get a black label. Yeah, so, 9.5 on yeah. centering, which yeah. is really good, yeah. but you want that A tin. black label, for sure, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm liking this Stan Lee Auto here. Yep. Is that out of the last stand? The last stand, yep. Wait, that's a case in center? Yep. Wow. Now, Six case. Do you have to, you obviously have a pretty good relationship with Beckett. Mm -hmm. Do you have to help them understand what they're looking at sometimes? I, all the time, I give them details and facts and figures to help them add these cards to their online price get in their database because they weren't even in there. So for years, I've been helping Beckett build their database of non-sports <laughs> cards. And I, I do this for fun, right? So I'm not right. asking money from them, but maybe one day they need to give me a free submission. But I'm yeah. thinking, you know, I'm thinking. But I love helping them because it's building their, you know. Yeah, too, so yeah it helps it's everybody. Yeah, yeah. All right, Hugh Jackman, love his auto. Mm -hmm. I think that's a six case incentive. It's a tough pull. Yeah, because I haven't even seen this one. Yeah, it's a real tough pull. I've seen this one. Yeah. And not this one. And you, ha it's a nine with a 10 auto. Mm -hmm. Stan just, Stan 10 auto is actually important. Yeah. Because that auto got rough. Yeah, it's true. It it's got, true. He That's a someone. good point. Yeah. That, that is, uh, I really like that mm -hmm. a lot. And you got a little claw. I always love it when there's a claw in the uh -huh. uh, picture. No claw in this one, but still a great card, I uh -huh. think. And then what are we looking at here? So hard to grade high because these, uh, they call them prime micro motions, edge chipping, pack pulled cards. Mm -hmm. The edges are just so, so, so tough and centering. So it's really special, I think, to pull up a gym net or find have a gym net for sure. Do you have any Marvel beginning boxes? They're all been opened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs>
Another Marvel Beginnings here, uh -huh. and this is Deadpool. Just the artwork looks cool. Yeah, they just that, look neat, you know? I love when Deadpool is in his assassin form, is yeah. what I call it. Yeah. When he's in his more comedic form, I kind of back off a little bit. Sure. But it comes from my childhood here. We'll, we'll pan down here real quick, Brett. Maybe the buyback out of 20. Well, this is the buyback, but he's in that, that we're right. so used to him as an assassin. Right. It wasn't until later that he really kind of took on that comedic role right. in the way that he was presented in the art. Right. right? And then we've got, back up here, we got Magneto. Tough pull, I forgot what the odds are, but it's really, really, really tough to pull a hologram. Oh uh, yeah, out of the, the uh, beginning. So I've got series one, two, and three at home sealed that I want to open oh, one day. Awesome, yeah. Yeah. yeah, awesome. It's gonna be fun. So we just got uh, 2013 Flare Retro. I said, just got, okay. <laughs> a really nice card. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is the, I think you would call this kind of the base car, but really this is still an insert yeah. in that set because mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the metal was considered an insert. Sure. It's not the parallel, right? but uh, still an awesome card. And to have it at a 9.5, amazing. Right, yeah. And then here we have the auto from 2013 as well. Mm -hmm. You want to tell us about this one? Yeah, it's just, it's just cool because they kind of took after the 1990 design, right? And mm -hmm. it's from 2013, right again. So the boxes are what, 10 to 15,000 now? So uh, are they more? The 2013 boxes? Six yeah. boxes, uh -huh. which was like an inner case, uh -huh. sold for 292,000 on Golden Auction. I've got six upstairs I paid, I think four or 500 bucks four years ago. Yeah, yeah, not sealed, not sealed. They've been opened. I wish they were sealed. Oh, I wish. Sorry. They're about to open right now. I had yeah. a heart attack. Yeah. No, they're actually ten to 15000 I was going to pick up one from you. Yeah. I wish, man. I wish. I wish. Literally, I'm probably yeah. going to have to let my heart rate calm down for a second. When I bought them, I didn't even know what I was buying years ago. I well, just think they look cool. You bought them you know? for what they were at yeah, the time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what they are now is very different. Yeah. Right? That's true. And so, we have the 2013 Flare Marvel. Oh, this is the hardware. Mm -hmm. So. Painting back to this Deadpool and this Deadpool, mm -hmm. you see how he's aiming at the, the card holder? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, that's not allowed anymore. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, yeah, from the art, you know, when they're doing sketches and yeah. the art that they're selecting, no guns can be pointed at you. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, you know, we've got to protect <laughs> yeah. everybody. Okay. <laughs> uh, Intimidation Nation. Some of the Intimidation Nations I'm not a fan of, but I really do like. Again, yeah, that's a good looking one. Yeah. It really yeah. is. And tell us about this one. Just classic PMG blue, serial numbered out of 50. Um, I just, I bought this for 6,500 ungraded, sent it off, and of course, 0.5 away from Jim, man, that's fine, whatever. Right. right? You know, so right. close, but that's okay. It's still very yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. Still very, very good. And then tell us about this Another one. Another insert, 2013, I mean, 2015 yeah. retro. Going after the 92 X Men design, but autographed. So, so are you a little frustrated by the reused art from retro uh, I, normally i would be but because it's such a cool image of them mm -hmm. i don't care it's all good but i normally i don't like them doing that but that i like that image so i would tell you that i actually thought this was in 2013 yeah. because it was the same yeah yeah but you know yeah i, I love the jim lee border yeah definitely because uh, this is a, an homage to it's classic the 92 yeah, Kenny for Action, sure right and then we have numbered out of 10 on the back <laughs> yeah so yeah. Hold on. Right. Out of 10, numbered wow. Out of 10. Both of them are numbered out of 10. 2014, 75th anniversary. Anything numbered to 10 is really special, obviously. Sure. sure. Obviously. Yeah. And then what do we have down here? It's a cool decades. design, the prism out of decades. Is that bone calls? Mm, no, I guess not. No, it's kinda, but it kind of looks like it. Yeah. 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 And then you have the regular hollow foil, hollow is that foil. right? Mm -hmm. But a 9.5, mm -hmm. anything that thick at a 9.5 is yeah. awesome. And then you were telling us about the, the buyback here. Yeah, serial number out of 20 makes it special. So, and Jim yeah. Mint. Yeah, 9.5. Because this card's been handled how many times? Once. Well, no, I'm thinking. Oh, you're right, from before when they bought it. So who knows? Yeah, yeah I don't know, who knows, this, right? This, this yeah. card is really from 1995. That's true, yeah. So it's put in that pack. I always wonder how they get those. How does the company um, collect they them? They buy the boxes. Do they, they really? Open them. Yeah. That's what they do? I didn't They know truly that. buy them back. Okay. So they're in the marketplace. Yeah. They buy them back. Okay. They rip them, they stamp them, and put them in as an insert. I was wondering if they all, if they did that or bought them raw. Good to know. Well, because they do that, yeah. that's my point. How special the 9.5 is. Because they handled it and then, yeah. And then you had to open that pack or sure. get it off the of e-pack, however you got it. Right. And then have it delivered to be graded. This car's been handled a lot and still a 9.5. 
and then we got a jumbo lot. They keep going up, right? <laughs> I mean, just like the, the retros, they keep going up, the Marvel retros, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the jumbo lives are, are fun. I like them. Are you a fan of them? I love them. Yeah, they're cool. Is this the only Wolverine jumbo lot that you have? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What do we got here? We got a 10. Finally, black label. Finally. So, uh, pack pulled card. I had it graded years ago and then sold it for who knows how much, cheap, right? And then in the last year, bought it back again when it resurfaced on eBay. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. <laughs> you you sold the graded one? Yeah, I, I pack pulled this card. Yeah. I got it graded and it was out of my hands. Lost mm -hmm. it, right? And then found it again in the last year, year and a half and rebought it for a lot more. So, which is fine. You know, Great investment four, strategy. Four bucks, which now it's probably worth but a lot But still, more. again, just to make sure everyone understands, 10, 10, 10, four tens on the, yeah. gives you the black label yeah. FPGS. Yeah. And then we have uh, one of the hot cards right now. Uh, Brett and I were actually talking about these on the way here. Mm -hmm. And these keep going up and up. They're right behind PMGs, I think. On They are. And I have, I have a hot take on these. It's not going to help the values. That's okay. But I was, you know, I started heavily collecting in early 2021. Okay. And by heavily collecting, I mean all day, every day. Okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, much like you live. Yeah. And yeah. it took 11 months for me to get interested in Vibranium. Okay. And it did primarily because of this logo. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. I just Because it covers up a lot of the cool design of the card. It's as beautiful as this card is. Right. What an ugly logo. Sure, sure. <laughs> and I just couldn't do it. There was just so, from an art standpoint, mm -hmm. there was so much more I was wanting to invest my time, energy, sure. emotion, and money in. I get that. And, which concerns me, like obviously this is the same Wolverine art here that we see in 2013 and 2015. Mm -hmm. it, it concerns me because, to your point, because these are hard numbered, mm -hmm. because they have, a, they have a sports car feel to them, mm -hmm. I think people were chasing these thinking that it might be the next PMG and they could get hurt. Could, could. They could, if they get too astronomical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. If, if PMGs are here, which are already, you know, getting higher and higher and higher, yeah. and people kind of run these up because they're cheaper, it, it could they be. be careful, for sure. Well, I mean, you have numbered out of 199. Yeah. Then you have numbered out of 99, 50, 10, and five, yeah. right? Yeah. So there's there's still a lot out there, even though they're numbered. And yeah. So you gotta be it's careful. True. yeah. But. I say all that because I'm hoping that you'll trade me this one. Hey, you never know. <laughs> Anything's possible. Yeah. So, no, I'm, I'm being I'm being transparent, but I do I do love that card because yeah. I don't have it and I don't have. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. All right. All right. So we're gonna start at the top here and tell me why Superman is in this case. Well, I saw it. I saw it ungraded on eBay, pretty cheap. It is from 1940 something. I can't even tell from here. And uh, I just wanted to get it graded because I just thought it was cool and neat and old and got it at a good price and mm -hmm. came back in eight. And, uh, and I, what is BVG? Oh, Beckett Vintage Grading. So I don't know what year it is, but if they go back to a certain year, the older cards, Beckett grades them differently than they would a more modern car. And I don't remember what the And it's the same is. hard case, just a different label? Yeah, different, different. Um, they, do, they don't do subgrades with BFG, BVG. That's okay. All. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Tell me about this. Yeah, those are the 1980, um, I forgot what country they come from, but it's Wolverine and Cyclops. I think it's Argentina, mm -hmm. forget the country, so. Very cool. Yeah. Now, uh, sticker, is that right? Yeah, an old 81980 Ovaltine Marvel sticker. Mm -hmm. Got it. Oh. <laughs> Such a tough grade on that because of the centering and the edges, so it's super hard right. to have that. I opened a lot of packs to get that one. Wow. This, this is one of my favorites because it's a Toy Biz variant and Toy Biz cards, if you've ever opened them, yes, are I have. super tough. Some of them have tape on them in the package, right? Yeah. So to find Jim Men of that, I think is, is, is rare. Okay, come here just for a second. So Toy Biz is an action figure. So these, these cards were put in the Toy Biz box with the action figure. Right. To his point, some of them were taped to the box. Right. Then they go onto the, the peg. Right. And then they sit there sometimes for years and years. Right. Some of these toys didn't sell very well, right. and the cards will fall. Yeah, that's true. Towards the bottom, that's true. and then even hang out of the bottom. That's true. So, and then there's variants of each one. Yeah. And if a kid saw Wolverine as the card in the box, they typically bought that car that action figure, because some of the boxes didn't have the really same matching ones. They had or different ones. 
are characters that were really popular. Right, that's true. And then taking the card out is a whole other story, right? You got to take it out special in a, in right. a special way. So, so this is a variant. Uh, you might even call it. A, it's well, variant is probably the right word, but in a sense, it's a parallel sure. of 90MU, and you have it at 9.5. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Are are these also toy biz? No. These okay. are the regular, the regular ones. Did 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 Beckett recognize this as a toy biz yes. in the label? Yes. Did you see it that? It says toy biz promos on the label. Can you see it, Brett? Toy Biz that's awesome. Super awesome. I really like that one. I don't want to sell that one. It's on eBay for 45000 I know that's high because I don't want to sell it. Right? Okay. But if somebody buys it close to that, sure, I'll sell it. So, right, yeah. yeah. He, he will take a small SUV. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and these are 90MU. Yeah, just yeah. At Trying to build a set in all 9.5 or 10 for sure. Sweet. Yeah. And then Classic Spider-Man 92 Universe. Yeah. 2.5 away from Pristine. Really? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. And then we got our masterpieces. Autographed here. by the artist. A little different. Wait it's a minute. authenticated by Beckett. Where's the auto? Top left Top corner. Top left corner mm -hmm. right there. Okay, that yeah. is pretty cool. Kind of different, right? Now, did you get the auto? No. Bought it raw on eBay. Okay. Yeah. And then sent it in. To so Beckett. And they authenticated they it. They authenticated it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then again, Deadpool as an assassin. Mm -hmm. We've already kind of covered how, how we like that. Mm -hmm. And then we get into the Jim Lees. Mm hmm these are probably the two best cards, in my opinion, in that set. And this is a promo uh, Jim Lee Wolverine from that, uh, from that year. At a 9.5. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Super, super cool. And then and Wolverine Ghost Rider. You can't go wrong with those two fighting, right? Is this out of the Ghost Rider set? or The War the Ghost Rider set. Okay. No, I'm wrong. Wolverine from then till now. That was right. Yep. And there, the artwork's so similar, though. You there know? is a Ghost Rider so from then till now. Yep, right? for sure. For and sure. then Spider-Man from then till now. I don't think they call it from them until now, what but it's they the same it? year. I don't know. 30th like, anniversary, maybe? It's like a similar makeup, yeah. I yeah. guess. Yeah, well. it's similar. Glows in the dark. Wow. <laughs> An insert out of the Ghost Rider box and glows in the dark. That's cool. Very unique. Yeah. I yeah. love it. And they say Deadpool's rookie card is that next one. So this is out of the comic book. Mm -hmm. This is the, yep, the comic it. book promo. And then when the market went crazy, they were going for 10000 in Gen Mint, right? Yeah. Now I think they're fifteen hundred or thousand. Right, so. that's a warning for you folks out there. Buying. Yeah, you do have to be careful sometimes. For mm -hmm. sure. And then favorite artwork of all time, my personal opinion is Jusco ninety two Marvel masterpiece. That's my favorite set, favorite artwork. You're gonna have a lot of people that agree with you. <laughs> yeah, right. And, and if and anybody has a Jim Mint Fang versus Hulk, let me know because that's the only one I need to complete the set, and I'll trade her by. And that's not in here because it's not Jim Mint, the one right. that you have. Right. Okay. And then we get to mm -hmm. my prototype. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, what a great looking card. It's, it is it's, just. It's one of the best, I think. It, Joe is, is so good. Yeah. So, so good. Mm -hmm. I, I love this card. And then again, from the 92. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we get down here to a pretty cool Batman card. Yeah. Uh, Pop one, no PSA 10s exist. Uh, it's got the foil front. It's an insert out of the Saga of the Dark Knight 94. So do you kind of view Batman is your DC version of Wolverine, like in terms of how you PC? Yeah, he'd, he'd be my favorite character from DC for sure. Yeah. yeah. Got it, yeah. got it. And then we have a pink, is that what this is? You know how, if you've bought these boxes or packs, oh, yeah. how crappy the edges and corners are <laughs> of pinks, right? Right. Like, when I first bought these, I was hoping that would mimic 95 Marvel right. Metal, yeah. and then it would be tons of gem mints, but no. So to get a nine of that, I think was, was kind of rare. It so, is. Yeah. I think you're right. I think the pop report will continue to show that, yeah. but a 9.5. Platinum portrait. In a super platinum hype portrait. about that. Uh -huh. Okay, so pan down to the corner here. So see how it's got the waffle in here? Mm -hmm. So to, to get that in a 9.5, I think it's really, really pretty mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe this one corner is the only reason it didn't gem, get, get even well, no, you got 9.5, 9.5, 10. Wow. Mm -hmm. Incredible. And then this card here. So hype about it. 15 in the world. The only gem mint. No PSA 10s exist. So I think, I think that's on eBay for 45000 too. Because again, not looking to sell it, but hey, for the right price, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. But somebody makes you sell it. Sure, make you sell it. Sure, stuff. sure. And then what do we have here with the movie cards? Yeah, these came out of the uh, 2000 X Men, 2009 X Men Origins Wolverine boxes, and this was a casting call insert. They were pretty common, but to find obviously a pristine tin is tough, right? Yeah. And then this is numbered on the back out of, I think, out of 500, and it's really tough because of the black edges 
really tough to grade high, so nine fives. I had no idea they had number cards. I know, That's right? It. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't think I don't think this was pulled out of the box. I think it was uh, distributed differently, but I don't know how. Maybe really? dealer direct. And then last two cards in your cases here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, Wolverine X Men promo, and then just you know the the Magneto Juice Go. I'm gonna be on record here. Most underrated set in the '90s. I agree. Is I agree. Is this Wolverine Flare Ultra X Men? Yeah. yeah. And the art in here is on par, in my opinion, with Masterpieces. Yeah. I don't think that's Juice Go, yeah. but do you have any others in here? Because Juice Go, set. Juice Go has a whole nine panel that he did in this set, which is really, really good. What does he have in the set? He has a, it's not a, it's not a, like a connecting nine panel, yeah. but nine oh. cards that he did in this set. That's right. It's really I, good. There's yeah. a Wolverine and Magneto in there. That's amazing. You're right. Yeah. I'm looking for that in gym. I don't think I have that one. <laughs> yeah. He's not looking for the card. He's looking for the gym mint 9.5. That's right. If you have. That's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What else do you have in this house? Okay. So we got a, uh, sweet. And then, um, Becca interviewed me and they put me in a, a Michael Jordan magazine. It was super humbling and, and exciting. And, and they asked me, why do I collect Jordan? This is when I collected Jordan more than Marvel, but now I collect Marvel more than Jordan. And so that was cool to be featured in Beckett, right? And at Jordan Air Magazine, that was right. fun. We're gonna have to hear right. more about this. Sure. Okay, what else we got here? Then, uh, kind of Holy like, smokes. <laughs> kind of running out of room here. Got okay. Some, got some boxes. Hey, what would you like for supper tonight? We got some <laughs> X-Men archives on tap here. Uh -huh. uh, would you like a little Okay, next man with your eggs, right. or wow, ninety-five Marvel medal. That'll, that'll be fun. <laughs> Little ninety-two masterpiece for dessert, and yeah, how about a how about a fifteen hundred dollar Marvel medal as the main course? Wow, dude, stacked with boxes. Oh, okay, we have here we have the Bronze Age. Cool. Oh wait, all right, Wolverine there uh, from then till now. You just have these. What do you have in your closets? If this is what we're you have get in your to, We'll get to the closets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just starting to move. A few more here. All right, hold on. On this week's episode of The Cribs, <laughs> we got Michael here in his Marvel house. Oh, dude, this is the DC pantry. Uh huh. There's cards in here I didn't even know exist. And that's the box that, that you asked me about that that spawn came out of. Remember you asked? Okay. That's it. We're going to set this out for trade. <laughs> hey, I'm open. <laughs> that is awesome. And then cards that have been looked okay. at and need to be graded, but are not going out yet. Right. Would you so. like a spoon, a knife, or a daredevil? Yeah. A Deadpool. <laughs> right. <laughs> More cards that need to be graded. Okay, I'm going to show this from my buddy Norn. Norn, do you have Marvel Hero stickers? He's a, he's a surfer collector. Nice. Goodness gracious. Yeah. The stuff he just has here yeah. hidden in, in his drawers. And then these need to be graded. They go back from 1987, and there's 2013 Fleur Retro inserts. There's 2015 Fleur Retro inserts, and they're, they're in order. So don't get don't lose track of them yeah. too much, right? Wow. So these need to be graded. They do. They do. But Gosh. they're not top, top priority to be graded because... All right. Those are indifferent. You know how you have that drawer in the kitchen full of stuff that you can hardly shut it? That's what I have in my kitchen. Michael has cards that need to be graded from 2013 Flair Retro. <laughs> yep. I love Michael. Yeah. We got, and these are, these are just, they need to go out as soon as possible to PSA. Gonna crack a lot of Beckett's. Do you I think crack your own slabs? I do, and I have fun with it too. Steps. Hammer, hammer and screwdriver. Are you serious? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've right. cracked a Kobe rookie before. <laughs> we're we're going to have Michael teach us how to crack it's fun. like it's a fun. man. Crack like a man. I'll do it. Uh, Stutzy, Spider-Man here. Really cool card. I and think it'll be a PSA 10. A nine is not a nine's not bad. Right. Stutzy's not easy. Yep. This is probably, oh wait, that's not. This is a Sega version promo of Magneto. Oh, I'm not going to take this off, but this is might be my favorite Magneto card. Isn't it cool? I it, love that card. It, yeah. It won me number one in the art contest at Western High School. What do you mean? I drew, I, I did a color pencil of it oh, on a full awesome. 8 by 11 Yeah. it got first place. That is awesome. Uh, there's so much more here, <laughs> but yeah. I have a feeling there's more, so we're not going to focus there's on There's a lot more. Yep. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. We're, we're just, we're, we're looking at uh, 2015 Retro just sitting here on the counter. These need to be scanned and <laughs> listed. <laughs> little Venom Vibranium here. Yeah. 
This is the appetizers. Yeah. <laughs> and then this one came in the mail right before you got here. Oh, wow. Yep. So we have a Radiance Wolverine BGS9, and you're scanning because what do you do with your scans? I put them on Flickr from my personal collection and some of them I'll put on eBay. Right, so in between laundry, he's scanning his, <laughs> his, his Marvel cards. Right, right, right. This is, For sure. This is awesome. Yeah, Got to scan, you know, get them in the computer. That's so, so cool. Yeah. I love it. And then I'll show you the downstairs closet. Now this closet represents what is currently for sale on eBay. Okay, so and, we got the eBay closet. Yeah. And I found, I found something to keep these organized that I'm so happy about. Look at these. Look at this. What is Isn't this? It? Yeah. Aren't these great? This is fantastic. They, yeah, they keep them organized. These are all in order and they're all actively for sale. I think 1,800 cards right now for sale on eBay. Okay, so I'm gonna just take a deep breath. 1,800 cards for sale on eBay. Approximately, yeah. Just, I, I struggle to find time to list one card on eBay. <laughs> and you're scanning them. You're not yeah, just listening. Right, these are Beckett's. Well, I have somebody that thankfully helps me and, you know, okay. employee, full time, thank God. For Marvel? Yeah. For like trading cards? For everything. Yeah. This makes PSA. This makes more sense. And then Beckett. Oh, so we do have a PSA. Yeah. This is like your hidden stash of PSA. For so reason. Beckett doesn't find out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man. man. Look at this. I want a gem in of that. I would love that. Yeah, the hollow clicks. The Wolverine and Batman, Dark Claw. Yeah. Yeah. You got a gem in that, I'll buy it. I, I don't. I wish I did, but I wouldn't sell it to you. I'd trade it to you. There you go. There you go. And, you know, like, you want to hang your clothes? This guy in his closet has racks of Marvel cards. And you're going to have to give us the link to where I you will. buy these, I and will. we'll drop it in the video for This people. was a huge, huge, it was so cheap, too. Oh, come, come look at this one. I'm sorry. I, am, I do love Batman. I don't want to disclose that too strongly on camera. <laughs> That is, oh, there's so much good. All right, we're gonna be here a lot longer than we thought, Brad. Oh, wow. Okay, is there more? There's a lot more. Okay, yeah, guys. It's all upstairs. Stay with us, there's yeah. more. Oh. Look at it. this is what I was talking about. All right, guys, get ready. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, man. All right. I, my heart actually breaks. Cause let me tell you what my brain is interpreting. Okay. You opened all this without me. I did. I did. And not on camera. It's true. But and things can change, right? Okay. Things can change. We're going we're yeah. gonna to redeem you. Okay, good. Because your, uh, your ledger is like all in red. Fine. I'll make it in green. We're going to yeah, we're gonna have to get it, get it in black like Black Widow. Yeah. All right, what we got here? More open so, boxes. All these boxes have been opened, but I put a, a note on each one that they're unsearched. I pulled the high ends out. Okay. I haven't looked through the face cards in them yet. All right, so come so. closer, Brent, because I want to show. <sighs> What's in here? Unsearched retro card, but no inserts. Yeah, I know, I know. What I'm holding here <laughs> is a 25, well, it's not worth 25,000 now, dollar box. And he just pulled the inserts out. So the base cards are still in here. And uh, which is like, you could just build a whole base set. Definitely. Yeah. I'm going to go through. Up. The goal is to have all these base cards in gem mint condition. Okay. And That's you have goal. four boxes here. Mm -hmm. And then vibraniums. What are these going for now? Five grand a box? Four? Well, a sealed case just sold for 12 boxes, just sold for 12, uh, for 35,000. Two boxes just sold this week way less than they were selling for like 1800 okay something okay, like that okay wow so you're going to see some ebb and flows in the market yeah but 1800 a box right now wow still a lot uh, for a box right? in atlanta a box sold for 3000 cash so just wow people yeah. are still figuring Kinda it out all over the place mm -hmm. if, if have you opened these yet no they, i almost they, almost bought one you know the shack rookie yeah and the barry bond rookie you know have you seen those huh? deadpool superimposed those images I and they recreated those rookie cards they're wow. super fun yeah super cool gabe's cave in el dorado had a box of those and i just couldn't pull the trigger because at the time i was thinking the only thing i would want in there is a sketch sure and they wanted so much for the box sketches are we're not selling for that much on sure. that box yeah and okay where where are your sketch cards for these they're all in here all yeah. right, guys. This, one of the things I really want to see is his sketch cards from X-Men uh, archives. I have a buddy 
who just completed his quest of collecting a thousand sketches from that set. Wow. And wow. had you had made it available yeah. <laughs> and not in yeah. your closet behind the closet, right. <laughs> you probably could have uh, could have made some money with them. No doubt. Oh, it's just it's just so much. All yeah. right, did you okay, let's take a look at the Jim Lee X Men. Sure. Quite a few here. Did yep. you pull an auto? No. No auto, not one. Do you own an auto? Um, no. All right. No. Would love to buy. I own the set of the holograms autoed that came direct sealed that you couldn't get in those. And those are authenticated by JSA. Right. But right. I'm going to get those graded too. Those are the only autos I own from that. Still not pack pulled? No. No. Okay. Oh, no. Right. Tough pull. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Oh, so this was a watch that, that came with a very, very, very rare trading card. And it's a Wolverine trading card that came with it inside here. And so it's like you would buy this and then the card is not, I'll have to show you the card. But it was a watch in, in this little toy. Well, the Blackbird. Yep. And a, and a Wolverine trading card came in there that was just super, super hard to find and got that graded. And there's uh, 5,000 of these, so kind of rare. <laughs> Kind of rare, because yeah. who kept them? Yeah. They, they, they wanted the watch. Yeah. Heroes and villains, just insane. Probably one of my favorite sets. Love it. Oh, and there's, is this like the animated? Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So much good stuff. Okay, let's keep going. All right, okay. Oh! <laughs> All right, I, I don't know how to keep having reactions. <laughs> About 90 boxes of metal. Not on camera. Oh, no. 90 boxes of X-Men metal, not on camera. These were up to $400 a box. Those were fun to open. Times 90. Yeah. I opened, opened 19. Okay. I felt like a baller. No, those are fun. Yeah. Not a baller. <laughs> he has redefined baller. So these are in alphabetical order all the way down and all the way across. Not on camera. Yeah. How many did you open of this? Probably four or five. Yeah. We'll change this. We'll change it. All right. Yeah. We're, we'll change it. Well, you're like way in the black. <laughs> I mean, way in the red. We got to get you in the black. Okay. Um, so these are all in order. Mm -hmm. I was distracted. Sorry. That's okay. And are these all nines and 9.5s for the yes. most part? Mm -hmm. Some wow. Tens. Wow. Wow. All non sports. Wow. And again, this is from the Wolverine set I was talking about. That I like a lot, and it gives the artist down here at the bottom this mark. Give us Psylocke. This one mm -hmm. is amazing. Incredible, just incredible. These phone cards are fun because you can get ten sometimes. You know, I've seen these on eBay, but I've never pulled the trigger on yeah. the phone cards. They great hot because they're plastic, right? Yeah. Oh, sketch cards. Mm -hmm. Tenth anniversary. That's a good looking Wolverine there. These. Oh, stickers. Are the sketch cards just throughout? Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're not all in one place. Right, they're definitely spread out, but in order. <laughs> I'm going to come here one day and put one card out of order. <laughs> right. I'll try to find it. I'll yeah. never be able to find it. Ever. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was the case incentive. Yeah, look at, the, yeah. Look at that, guys. Just in the closet behind the closet. <laughs> This is kind of like opening a pack for me, but it's a whole house <laughs> and we're ripping. We're ripping through this house and we're finding amazing cards. And I still have only scratched the surface. Did you uh, ever get into the Marvel Stussy cards? I, I have a pack actually down there in, uh, in one of my cases. I opened one pack and I haven't done any grading. I might have an extra Spider-Man gem in if you want to trade. <laughs> oh yeah, it does interest me. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Little, little surfer there. All right, man. We're gonna we're gonna have to slow down. I'm gonna have to take a breath. Yeah. Cause there's just so much. <laughs> oh gosh. 
so much. I love the, I love the emotions oh, from definitely. 95. Definitely. And you have them great. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at here? Those are the jumbo cards that Beckett got Beckett to grade. Real unique. Very unique. Yep. Well, well these are uncut sheets, right? right? Is that what you were called? Uncut sheet, right. Oh. And then this one's super cool because it got a nine. And Came out of a magazine. Yeah, Marvel Annual Report panel. Not familiar with this yeah. card. It, it came out of a panel in a magazine. Wow. Yeah. Good job, man. Thank you. And then one of the favorite full green images oh, of all yeah. time, right? All time. Yeah. With the flip print. Yeah. As a kid, the idea of pulling that out of the pack was yeah. huge for me. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And then, what are we looking at? Golden Apple here? I just saw this on eBay. I never saw or heard of it before. 1989. It's like hoping Beckett would grade it. They all are creased or wrinkled from what I can see, so I didn't care about the grade. That's probably the lowest grade I own, but kind of rare, kind of unique, different. That is. Yeah. Another and then the, uh, oh, you remember the hang? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, it's okay, yeah. We found 2016 Battle Spectre Gym. This is a worthless card. You probably want to trade it to me. <laughs> is that just the base? Mm -hmm. 9.5? Just casually <laughs> sitting in the back here a blue 8.5 wolverine you got an 8.5 so it's just not worthy it's not worthy <laughs> no no <laughs> red and is this out of 25 i forgot let's see yeah okay. Whatever, yeah yeah you're right but sometimes there are one out of 25 oh that's I, the alpha yeah <laughs> yeah oops yeah yeah <laughs> oops i have the alpha Ooh. gold out parallel. of 75 Mm -mm, it's not number, just short print. Short print? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's out of 2017 Marvel Annual. I was thinking that was uh, Marvel Beginnings mm. uh, Battle. Yeah. Superman stuff. Uh, I would just have to. <laughs> I'll have to just come hang out more. Yeah, please. Yeah. You got to do these. You know the story behind the recalled Haynes cards? No. When they came out, a lot of parents were complaining about the artwork for little kids was too much with the way the women were dri drawn and so they stopped production pulled them off and then they came out with a more cartoonish look you know this is so much better uh yeah it is and they're a lot more rare that version wow wow and then this one is a uh, box that's what is Joe Juice a case Joe, that's yeah. Joe Juice, Juice Go tough pull right I think one per case does it say I don't remember who it is actually mm, that one may not be Joe yeah but he did art for that set too. Yeah. So these are all like promo type stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And these boxes that you have your cards in, tell us about that. MJ Root is the brand. Uh -huh. They used to be on eBay, now they're not. Now you just Google MJ Root and you can buy them um, just on their on a website. On the website? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. They're archival safe and uh, they're good to store cards, obviously. Sports for another day. Yeah, sports. Not on camera. <laughs> wow. All right. That's enough for the episode of Cribs. <laughs> Marvel Cribs. Again, I, I feel like I've been ripping a pack, a box, a case, cases on cases, just walking through your house, seeing stuff I've never seen. Yeah. Graded at grades I've never seen. Yeah. Michael's been hidden, but not any longer. And my new Marvel best friend. Me too. Awesome, man. Oh, yeah. Yes. Thanks, everybody. Hope you have a marvelous day. Mm -hmm.